Hello friends, welcome back. This in this playlist we are using Azure Logic Apps to talk to Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. This is the third video in the series and in this video we will do an O data post call. Now when we do post, post is basically creating a record in finance and operations. So when we do a post call, we send a payload to Dynamics to create a record in a data entity. So let me share my screen and then we start getting into the action. All right, so in the previous video, we created a logic app which was Odata Get, which is basically reading data from customer groups data entity. So let's try to model the same app uh, to do the post operation. Before we do that, let's quickly look at the history as I want to copy the body of the response, which will act as our sample data. So let's say I will copy this thingy. Now we go to our logic app, and in this case, we want to do a post. Now, when we do post, we need to define a body. And in this body, we will basically create the JSON string of the values we want to create in Dynamics. So I will give this customer group name as 9900, and then I'll just keep rest of the values uh, the same, just to keep it simple. So now we are ready to test the call. So let's do a run. While it is running, yeah, that went smooth. And here we can see that we sent this input, and in the output, we got status code 201. And if you look at, at the output, you can see that we have got a response payload from Dynamics that, yes, this was created. So if I go back to my Dynamics 365 finance and operations, and I look at the customer groups form, I should be able to see the customer group with a value 9900. So this is how a uh, post operation works. To summarize, post operation is used to create records in finance and operations. When we use O data as a pattern, we have to pass uh, payload in the body, which is in the form of JSON, and there we have to basically define the values we want to create. So. Thank you for watching this video and we will continue with more videos on using logic apps to talk to finance and operations.